All right, uh, I'm going to spend a few minutes with no pictures, so it's probably going to not really sink in with anybody very well. But I'm going to talk a little bit about cloud safety, and I'm going to talk a little bit from the perspective of running your cloud with multiple accounts. So basically, the problem, part of the problem with the cloud, AWS specifically, is that it makes a lot of things very easy. In a lot of situations, it makes it too easy. So people end up with one big account that's shared with production, uh, staging and all that sort of stuff. And so you end up with these key things being dangers that you have to deal with. Security, stability, standardization, and management. And this is an old copy of this. If you find the spelling error, I will give you my $25 gift card. The issues with AWS are basically that IAM works really well across an account, but it doesn't really let you dig down into saying, hey, you know what, in this VPC, this person is allowed to create EC2 instances, but they're not allowed to do much else. So when you work in a development staging production world, you have to be really careful in some situations if you have that all bundled together, people have too much access to stuff. And an engineer that has access to development, if they can also go in and affect staging and production, you have a little bit of a problem. So when the engineer's workflow is start at development, move up the chain to staging, move up the chain to production, and it's all together in one place, you run the risk of them doing things that are really bad. The flip side is, is if you go the other direction, what you end up with is the exact opposite. You end up with no access. And if you're a company like ours, where you pride yourself on moving very, very quickly, this is a problem. And you can't necessarily uh, let that happen uh, going forward. So here's the real crux of the problem, is it's the customer's data that really guides what we have to do here. So, in, in a world where you have all your customers' data together in one place, big customers, those enterprise-level customers we all want to work with, they want their data separate. And if you have a shared product, that's a problem, unless you can do this. If you have a shared product where you can avoid storing customer data, you can pretty much ignore everything I'm going to say over the next couple of minutes because you're in a good situation. You don't have to worry about this stuff. Another way you can do this is you can take a single system, say RDS, and you can put a separate database in that system for each customer. It's a pretty common way to do it. That's how we started out 10 years ago. But you really run into growing pains, and especially security pains, when you're trying to control access across this, uh, this server with a bunch of users. Shouldn't be hard, but it is. The next thing you can do, you can try to do it by instance. So each customer gets their own instance. This works a little bit better because you're not going to leak stuff. But then you get into this situation where, OK, now I can take this to the VPC level. I can actually put my customer's data in separate VPCs. This is kind of great, because now you can't even route between them except in very controlled situations. Here's the approach I like, though, is if you can get to a point where you can actually take your customer's data and their part of the application, move it to its own account. Now you can manage all of the permissions around that account specific to that customer, specific to the engineers working on that. So now you're in this situation of, can you actually launch your apps this way? A lot of apps aren't built, A, cloud first, and B, in a scenario where you can break them up and run app and data specific to a customer. And the next part of that conversation is, should you even do that? Because you can argue that if you have a lot of accounts, we're up to about 38, you uh, have a lot to manage right there. So is that something that you and your teams are ready to take on? So if we step back a little bit away from security and we look at stability for a minute, we kind of have the same things. And really, once you get past multiple instances, you don't gain a lot on stability, whether you go to separate VPCs or separate accounts. So that's the big thing around stability is do you run it all on one instance or do you use multiple? Standardization. If you're doing the right stuff, I'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow. Program your infrastructure. Take a look at Terraform if you haven't. This stuff is less of an issue because you can can it and push it out across whatever environment you need to very easily. And here is the management perspective of this. How many people does it take to manage an infrastructure that looks like this? IAM can get very complicated if you're trying to do it all in a single account. Flip side is, is if you take these and make them small modules that you can bounce out to all these accounts and manage in a central place, what you end up with is lots of little things that are easy to reproduce and manage versus one big ugly spider web that's going to likely get you in trouble at some point. My take on this is simple is better. Yes, I have to manage a lot more things, but there are simple, easy things that are reproducible that I can manage and I can hand off to other people and have them take and run with and not have any issues that I need to worry about. 